Lensun are a solar company that have quickly climbed their way to being a globally recognized name in solar. And this is one of their latest products. A 100 watt folding portable solar panel meant for people who need renewable energy wherever they go. The whole thing is held together in a compact travel friendly form and when unclipped it unfolds into a pretty large 105 by 23 inch surface. It has fold out legs designed to keep the panel at optimum angle to the sun and maximize its output. And when the sun is directly overhead, the legs can hinge back flush with the panel using this really simple but smart Velcro design that I really like. The older version of this model had thin metal poles instead and this new design is a welcome upgrade. There are metal eyelets for fastening the panel to the ground or to temporarily mount on a vehicle roof. And the construction and stitching are all excellent. The whole thing is put together with precision and care. It's a monocrystalline panel with an ETFE coating. That's basically the little dimples that make the surface less reflective and in theory allow it to absorb more light. It's not the only folding solar panel on the market, but what's pretty special about this one is it has a built-in charge controller. So really the only other thing you need is something to power and some sun. It has two USB ports to keep your devices topped up and the main output is a 12 volt supply. So you can charge car batteries or run it into a separate inverter and get mains AC power. So let's see how it performs. I'm gonna compare it to my 100 watt Renogy panel and see how it stacks up. For this test, I've wired in my own connector, bypassing the built-in charge controller, so I know I'm getting a direct feed from the panel itself, just as I'm doing with the Renogy. So I have a cable coming from each panel, and they will each go into my watt meter, which goes into my house, into my charge controller, and then down into my three 12 volt lead acid batteries, which I discharge to under 50% for this test. That way the batteries will happily take all the current the solar panels can give. It's about one o'clock mid-August in North America and there's a few tiny wisps of cloud here and there but it's mostly a clear sky. The panels are set up side by side at the same angle pointing directly at the sun. First, let's see how many watts the Len Sun can give me. It seems to be peaking at about 49.5 watts. Now the Renogy. Seventy-five, seventy-six. Back to the Lens Sun. Let's see if we can get a bit more. Forty-nine point two, forty-nine point fifty. Okay, so it peaked at about fifty. So the Renogy is making about 75 watts and the Lensun about 50. So these are both 100 watt panels, but neither of them are making 100 watts of power. So what's going on here? First of all, when a manufacturer claims a certain number of watts, that's under perfect circumstances, which are rare in real life. Atmospheric conditions are always changing. And although it may look like a perfectly clear day, sometimes the energy reaching the solar panels just isn't optimal. Another way energy can be lost is at the charge controller. I'm using a cheap PWM or pulsed width modulation charge controller instead of the more expensive and more efficient MPPT or maximum power point tracking charge controllers. As a result, I'm not getting all the energy these panels can give me. In fact, if I was using an MPPT, I would expect to see about a 10 or 20% higher reading on the watt meter. Having said all that, the Lensun is still producing about 30% less power than the Renogy, which is a bit disappointing. But having owned four or five folding solar panels in the past, I found them all to underperform and all to produce less power than their non-folding counterparts. So it's kind of a trade-off. Do you want the maximum possible output or do you want something that's lightweight, foldable and easy to set up? This Lensun panel with its built-in charge controller is a good all-in-one solution that'll give you power when you're away on a camping trip or living the van life. It's also not a bad thing to have at home in the event of a power outage. 
the only other thing you need is a bit of sunshine. <laughs>